Michigan Stadium, Ann Arbor, Michigan. The 101st homecoming for the Michigan Wolverines as they take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Wayne Larrabee, Randy Wright, and Jim Barber with you, and it's good to have you with us this afternoon. So second down for Michigan. That's Clarence Williams in motion. Greasy under pressure, sets up a screen pass to Howard, breaks a tackle to Tim, and he's got a first down. Out to the 43-yard line. Antoine Richard chased him down. Minnesota's doing a nice job defending it. Second and 10. Chris Howard upended near the midfield marker. Gain of about six, seven yards. Tyrone Carter, one of the hardest hitters in that Minnesota secondary, made the stop. Three yards to go for Michigan. Got a first down to Woodson at the 45-yard line. Over to make the tackle, Park Williams, the linebacker, and it's a first down on a gain of five. So first down for the Michigan Wolverines, and Howard gets the call, running hard up the middle, inside the Minnesota 40-yard line to the 38 on a gain of seven yards. And you're right, Jim. I mean, the, the advice was work hard, keep working hard, and be ready when your chance comes, and Greasy was last year. Greasy gets the first down on the dive, or he's very close to it, just inside the 35-yard line. Greasy, and that was his off-season workload and, and what he did to prepare for this campaign, his senior season. Greasy under pressure, hit by Mesra, the pass to Ty Streets, and he kept it in play. No! Apparently had a foot out of play. Ty Streets with a nearly acrobatic attempt to stay in play. Greasy again under pressure, again hit as he throws, and this time he's got Shea, the tight end, for a first down. To the 23-yard line, to the studio. You know, when you do things technique sound, you have a lot of success. Second down. Greasy. Escapability. Brought down by Lenanzer Williams. Close to the first down inside the 15. Third down. Greasy fumbled it, picks it up, and down he goes. Park Williams once again was able to escape through the line to the quarterback, and he tomahawked that ball away from behind. Greasy got it back, but he's decked for a loss to the 15. Well, we saw when a defense gets backed up, they're going to come at you. Here, Park Williams beats the count, and with that right arm, reaches in for the ball. Michigan gets a fortunate bounce, and Greasy picks the ball up rather than just falling on it, but by that time, the defense had converged. Nice job by Williams, knowing the cadence, coming off the ball quicker than the Michigan offensive line. 33-yard field goal attempt by Craig Baker. And it's no good. The Wolverines drive deep into Minnesota territory. Come up empty. And as we head down the stretch of the first quarter, Minnesota leads by three. First down, Minnesota. Sauter still got it. And Steele has him. Back near the 22-yard line, loss of eight. Glenn Steele, the senior, out of Legionnaire, Indiana. Little play action pass here. As Sauter comes to this side, he sees the man in front of him right there. But right here, if you're starting, you've got to throw the ball away. You know that your pursuit is coming from the back side. So if it's not open, right here, as you see, James Hall, 56. It's not there. Throw it out of bounds. Don't let Steele come because that's where the pursuit's going to get you from behind. Second down, about 18. Evans. Lost another yard. Maybe two. Sam Sword. Boy, this Michigan defense has some names, don't they? Sam Sword, Glenn Steele. Leverson and Weathers right with him, escorts him to the turf after a gain of about four. The Studio 66 for Clemson and Wake Forest. We get a little more active through the air, Randy, than we most people would expect in a game like this, but David Gibbs, the defensive coordinator of Minnesota, expected Michigan to throw the ball early in this ball game. Here comes Clarence Williams. Boy, he just banged that through there on the end and finished the run with a gain of about eight yards. Keith Dimmy, the free safety, made the stop, and uh, Clarence is shaken up. Looked like he took it on the thigh. Chris Floyd, the long setback for Michigan on a 
third down call. Third and about three. Reese has the big tight end, Campbell. Campbell takes Carter with him for an extra five yards to the 34-yard line. Mark Campbell, a junior from Clawson, Michigan, 6'6 and 253. He is alone. Be Randy Wright, Jim Barber, good to have you with us. Minnesota at the end of one, leading this football game 3 0. Michigan on the drive. Second and 10 for the Gopher 34, the reverse to Woodson. When Michigan needs a big play, the Wolverines look to number two, Charles Woodson, on both sides of the football. 33 yards. You can see the lineman set up, the nice job he does of following his blockers, and then here he just turns on his speed and outruns into the end zone. Nice play by Woodson all around, and a nice job selling the sweep, which set up the reverse. Baker's point after is good. We saw Woodson reverse for a touchdown that broke the back of Indiana a year ago here at Michigan Stadium. And he puts Michigan on the board offensively for the first time this afternoon on the first play of the second quarter. Minnesota first down. Unless you're James Hall and you've got to go over and face Lloyd Carr. <laughs> That's that well in motion. Hamner. Tried to follow the block of Hall and did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down at about 11. Amner in a delay. Wolverines reacted quickly. Clint Copenhaver made the tackle. Third down at about seven. Sauter. Screens to hand it. Michigan had it snuffed out. Josh Williams, the defensive tackle, was right there. Fourth down, Gophers. The might of the Michigan at defense being felt here. First down for the Gophers. Evans gets about two to the 10 yard line. Second and eight. Evans trying to cut it back, hit by Renus, and then gunned down behind the line. Over to make the tackle for the Michigan Wolverines, that time Ian Gold, the linebacker. Third down, almost 10. Sauter over the top to Leverson, overthrown. Leverson well covered down the sidelines, it's a fourth down. You see a sample right there of why Michigan's secondary is so good. When their front seven plays so well, they don't need help from the safeties like we've seen Minnesota have to come up. So when you don't need help from the safeties, you can bring your two safeties over top and help out your corners, and it makes it that much harder to throw the ball, as Corey Sauter just found out. Minnesota just one for five on third down conversions. That pass to 2-2 Atwell on the first drive of the game was their only first down conversion on a third down call. Rindles from his end zone. Woodson back there this time. Makes Park Williams miss. But he left about three covers in his wake. And finally goes out of bounds in front of the Michigan bench at the 38-yard line. Greasy on a boot. Looking to go the other way. He's got a man wide open. Thomas to the nine-yard line. Anthony Thomas. Jimmy Wyrick made the stop. 29-yard gain. Well executed play by the Wolverines. They just keep bringing different backs in there, and, and all of them can do the job. They come in waves, don't they? Sean motion. Greasy play action naked boot. Well set up. Touchdown, Michigan. Mark Campbell with the dive for the end zone, and Michigan leads 13-3. Take a look at the play action here as Campbell is wide open. Greasy sees it, gets the ball to him, but look at the corner of your screen. You'll see 36 there throwing the block on the defensive back. 
which keeps him from coming up. Take a look in the, in the end zone here at the, at the right. As you see the catch, 36 shade blocking on Demi. That keeps Demi from coming up and making the tackle and allows Campbell to get into the end zone. Baker's point after. Michigan has moved on top with a couple of scores in the second quarter. Wolverines on this dive by Mark Campbell lead it 14 to 3. Against that Michigan defense in the second half of Wolverine games. Howard finds some running room out to the 14. Let him do the work. <laughs> second down. Move by the freshman Thomas. First down to the 32 yard line. Sean Motion. Again, they naked bootleg it. This time, the big tight end Campbell rambling across the 50 to the Minnesota 45. Mark Campbell came in with one catch for three yards into this afternoon's game. Howard. To the 39, gain of six. Second and nine. Over the top for Woodson. Penalty marker down. Jimmy Wyrick, pass interference inside the five yard line. Williams runs right by Thomas, and when you get inside of your outside contain, take a look again, nobody really blocks him, he just runs right by, then there's nobody on the outside, Thomas puts a nice move right there, gets the ball into the end zone, another drive by the Wolverines, over 90 yards, ends in a touchdown. 92 yard Michigan drive, Anthony Thomas, 30 yards to the end zone, Michigan 21, Minnesota 3 in there. First down to the 15. Evans would not go down on the first hit. Gets out across the 20 to the 23. Sam Sword. Take a look at Sauter looking to his left. Never see Sword coming from the right side. The pump fake. And then just a devastating blow right into the upper body of Sauter. Now that's a big guy, 6'5", 215 pounds. He goes down like one of those 5'8", 170-pound wide receivers. I don't know who in this country is better defensively than Michigan. I haven't seen it. Third down. Penalty markers down early. Michigan has Minnesota rattled. There is no question about that. Snap. Ball start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Back to Studio 66, Mike. Really taking control of this game defensively. Third and long. Option. Hamner cuts it back. Wolverines all over that play. Ian Gold, the linebacker. But really give credit to Andre Weathers for forcing that cutback. That, that, you're right, Wayne. If you look at this offense, they, they've had some turnovers. They've had a lot of penalties. They have not been sharp. But as we said earlier, your defense will carry you. And today, that's been the case with the Wolverines. Chris Howard steps through a tackle attack to the Minnesota 37-yard line with a first down. Thank you, Jim. Second down. Greasy, a little swing pass. Chris Howard made the first man miss. And the second and third. First down to the 16-yard line of Minnesota. 
Randy, when you get the ball in a situation like that, the quarterback basically is asking the running back or the receiver on the screen pass to make the play, right? When well, you get that, that Exactly. That's what you want to do. Get the ball to your back as quickly as you can so that he can become a runner. Here, nice job getting it to him. That allows Howard to make that first move. Now he just becomes a running back as though it's a sweep. Now, Michigan's backs, they do such a good job of understanding what their role is in the passing game that it's not a surprise to them when you call a pass to them. Patrick McCall, a true freshman. Up the middle for about six. Mike Cernock made the hit for Minnesota. The Wait, Michigan I coaching staff happy with what they've seen today, but that's a big reason why you've seen Woodson in there when they exactly. needed a big play. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's why Woodson gets into this lineup so often on this side of the ball. Third down. Greasy cut from behind. Lamanzer Williams again. 31-yard field goal attempt. Craig Baker. And in routine fashion, he's got it through the uprights. Michigan with 4.25 to go in the game. Extends its advantage to 24-3. to Billy Cochran back in at quarterback on the option. To the 34, gain of about five. Ian Gold made the stop. Studios, second down. Pitch was behind Hamner. He did well to hang on to it and gets about a yard to the 34-yard line before the Wolverine defense closed. Dahani Jones made the tackle. Was a backup and stepped in and done a nice job. They called the punt. Third and four. <laughs> Penalty marker down. Maybe for a hold against Minnesota anyway. Joaquin Fizel gets the snap, gets the uh, sack. Holding the call against uh, Minnesota. They have been outmanned up front in the trench all day. Holding on the offense. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. Michigan coming out of blitz. Well, Wayne, that'll teach you to call timeout. If you call timeout and you want to try and put some points on the board, Jim Herman is going to come after you, and they want to protect that statistic. They're proud of it, and they're going to come after you. Jeff Holtry on the sack, and this game is in the books. The little brown jug for the 11th year in a row stays at Michigan. Len Mason coming over to shake Lloyd Carr's hand. And the Michigan Wolverines win their eighth in a row out of the gate. 5-0 in Big Ten play. Minnesota falls to 2-7, 0-5 in the conference. Again, the final score, Michigan 24, Minnesota 3. Let's go to Studio 66 and Mike Gleason.